hi guys and happy happy saturday i hope you're having a very beautiful saturday we had a major snowstorm <laughs> and through the night and i woke up to tons of snow didn't expect it there and um since i had planned to make um the polpettone con rigotta uh, it was perfect. So, in a little while, I'm going to show you how to make that. And what polpettone con ricotta is, is Italian meatloaf. <laughs> Simply Italian meatloaf. So, uh, it's one of the most delicious meatloafs you will ever, ever taste. So, I'll show you how to make that later when I um, get the video uploaded. I made it early this morning so that I could drop it off uh, so my dad could have it for supper or lunch whatever um i got some fun stuff i got some fun thrift things and uh and i bought these uh last week uh what was i new york state I, I i don't remember uh oh no i went to a different thrift store okay i went to a thrift store out uh, a little further west of here that i don't get to go to uh any day other than sunday so um but while I was out and about, I got these two beautiful Eryngium Blue Sea Hollies. These beautiful purple flower, uh, root flower, what do you call it? Uh, are they roots? I think they're roots. Yeah, two roots. They're perennial flowers, and I'm going to put these in the front. They're full sunflowers. I think they're going to be beautiful in the Atomic Universe Garden. And um, I'm excited because these can be planted... Um, as soon as the snow goes away and the ground isn't frozen um, so that they bloom in the summer and I'm really excited about those the color and the flower look just beautiful so I'm into that uh, I think everything else came from the thrift except I have one thing from uh, the David Bowie website and I had ordered two different picture discs. Uh, this is beautiful. This is Beauty and the Beast and um, Blackout, live in Berlin. Beautiful stuff. And um, the other one I ordered was, of course, Heroes, which is one of my favorite Bowie songs. But that one's uh, on back order right now. So, But I did get this one. Very, very, very fun. Uh, I'm excited about that. Oh, I did get an eBay thing. That's right. I forgot I got an eBay thing. Manic Mark, or as he calls himself now, Medicated Mark, <laughs> uh, showed this record last week, and I ran to eBay to see if I could get it, because if you don't know Manic Mark, he's a, uh, he has a video log, he's a vlogger, but he's also a blogger, and um, he has an entire website devoted to uh, space age pop, loungy, and crazy Christian music, okay? And he always puts sound clips. Well, last week on his video, he put a sound clip of this crazy Christian record. This is called the, uh, the Bailey Trio, the Rich, the Rich Man and Lazarus. And this is true crazy Christian hillbilly. And that is just out of this world it is so great and this this was uh this record this pine tree records hamilton ohio but the band is out of the the group whatever you want to call them i wouldn't call them a band um is out of sparta kentucky so that's why the the um bluegrass appalachian crazy country sound is coming off from this record and I'm, I was so into it when I heard it. Oh my god. So that'll be um, a really fun thing. I was so happy. There was one on eBay. That's it. There, there were only one. It's probably so obscure now. Manic Mark found it in a uh, thrift store down by him. He is in Kentucky. Alright. Um, that was eBay. That was Bowie website. Okay, I think everything else is thrift. Um, I got this last week in that thrift. This is so cool. It's so 50s. And it's really, really fun. Um, it's a little 
uh, tray, little 50s tray. There are markings on the back. It's alcohol proof, it says. Alcohol proof trays by. There's two little initials, but you can't read them. They're inside like uh, atomic diamonds. And it's made in Japan. And it's a beautiful uh, 50s tray. It's um, from the Summit Chalet. And they are promoting, it's really an advertising piece. They show you the base station, they show you the eating house, they show you the Summit Chalet, and they're promoting here a uh, ski mobile, which they must have been, uh, must, which must have been exclusive to their place. So this is really cool. And if you look at it close, you'll see how very um, 50s it is. It's really cool. You know, I love the advertising pieces. I love the uh, tourist art pieces and this covers both of those so this is really fun and this place was in north conway new hampshire very cool um ski resort ski lodge with this cool ski mobile thing you must have got on the ski mobile and that was the ski lift check it out that is so fun i thought that was a beautiful thing i got that really cheap too um also, in that thrift, I got this little guy. He's so great. He's a squid. He's a stuffed squid. He's so colorful and he's got like real, real, eye, real kind of eyes. Squid plush. <laughs> what more needs to be said than that? Isn't he awesome? He's a beautifully colored squid. He was still wrapped in a plastic bag. He was brand new. Probably the kind of thing that they sell at the various zoos and um, history museums and you know natural history museums things like that because it's a really good quality uh, squid <laughs> I love him I think he's beautiful um, I got a tiny little St. Patrick's I found this little St. Patrick he's really really cool he's got his croc uh, you call it croc right crook crook got his crook he's really cute he actually hangs up he's probably a st patrick santa kind of thing for the tree but i just love him with st patrick's day right around the corner i thought that was really really sweet i love little things like that and also up there i got this beautiful thing oh um it is a beer sign it is marked uh it's very tiny and i can't make it out even with a um even with a magnifying glass, but it is so beautiful to me. As soon as I looked at it, I said that, I mean, it just attracted me to it immediately. It looks like a little walled city, medieval city, and across the top says Prague. So, um, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It says Prague. Uh, European tourist art, <laughs> which is so much more beautiful. Than the tourist art that we have here this kid i don't know how old this is but the marking is very very difficult to read you see someone might recognize that mark uh if you know your your uh czech pottery really really beautiful i loved this and actually i should be using that glass today because i am drinking pilsner or quell in the vintage cans today but i am drinking it in my Polynesian Village glass from Walt Disney World. Tourist art. Um, very fun. I found this this morning in the thrift. I'm going to get lipstick all over it now. It's a beautiful frosted tiki mug. Check them out. And he says Polynesian Village. It says Walt Disney World back here. Very beautiful. I don't know. If the Polynesian Village is still in Disney World or not, it could be. I'd have to ask my cousin. She lives down there. I haven't been there in so long that I, I don't know. But oh boy, how good! Mm. I love the glass. Isn't it great? I love the frosted glass. Different kind of tiki mug, you know, than the average. All right, Mr. Squid, come over here. Um, 
Also this morning, I got a chef's hat. And now if this isn't appropriate, I don't know what is. And, but I already cooked today, so I don't need it for today. But how fun. Skeety has one that he wears every Christmas Eve for La Festa, La Siete de Pesce. And uh, when he cooks the seven fishes, he wears one of these. <laughs> and I don't have one. I only have a holiday chef hat. So I really like that. Um, I got legend bob marley beautiful uh, this is one of my favorites i mean it has a lot of great stuff on it i think this is actually a yes it's the best of i have this on vinyl also the great great bob marley and this is like brand new i got two sealed pieces now this is the last rose of summer the guy is patrick Apella, romantic guitar now still sealed this guy is very interesting. I didn't know until I opened this one because this was sealed also. This one's called Reflections. And this one, I opened this one playing it in the background. I opened this one today and inside it says that this, uh, um, this particular CD was inspired by um, those who gave their life uh, when not, you know, during 9-11, during the... Uh, terror attacks on the Twin Towers because he used to play in the Windows on the World restaurant uh, on, on uh, the 107th floor. Now my, my dad took me to uh, Windows on the World years and years ago and um, I was very paranoid. I, it had nothing to do with 9-11. It was just that it was so high and creepy and uh, there was another restaurant like that in New York that he took me to, and uh, it was called uh, Top of the Sixes, and that one used to spin. So you get a, I don't know, not that I'm afraid of heights, but it was really a, a weird feeling to be so high up and eating in a restaurant, I don't know. But anyway, this guy, um, this is the music that he wrote after the Trade Towers fell and his feelings and it kind of like in tribute to the people that were killed there so i thought it was really interesting because i had never heard of him I, I love guitar instrumental and um i never heard of patrick apello so he must have been a new york city artist who, who his main gig his his um recurring gig was at uh windows on the world in the world trade center amazing right really really fun the things you find out i love that I got these two canes. Now, I love canes and I love walking sticks, and but they have to be really cool. Like, you know, like my Dia de los Muertos one or, you know, the creepy clown one. But this one I loved because it's uh, natural wood, of course, and it has a tip of horn, um, of bone, really. See, isn't that beautiful? I thought it was so beautiful. And these were half price tag today, so I really got two for the price of one. And um, this one I loved because it's very shillelagh like. It has little bump, little all the natural wood bumps on it, and I love that look. It looks very shillelagh. If it was black, it would surely be a shillelagh. But this might have uh, been carved by an old Irish guy. Who knows? And this one has that beautiful uh, bone on there. I love these. These are very beautiful. Really fun find. They still have their rubber tips also. So, very fun. So, I have a lot of fun stuff on the way because uh, I did a little bit of eBaying this week. Uh, a couple of really fun records and whatever. I went to Aldi last night and you know, I wanted an enameled um, duchy. I wanted a uh, cast iron uh, enameled duchy. And um, the cheapest place I could find one was um, Walmart and, and it was $39.99. I thought that was a pretty good price. But last night I was in Aldi and I said, let me just go down that, that aisle with the other stuff other than food. 
and I did and sure enough there was cast iron enameled pots 4.5 quart pots and they were $24.99 I was like it's mine it's mine I wanted a red enameled cast iron pot and I grabbed it for $24.99 are you kidding me um the Walmart ones are Dutchies are round five quart um stock pots um this one is a Frenchie it's a French pot it's um uh a French oven called a French oven the French ovens are oval the Dutch ovens are round so this is a big beautiful oval cast iron enameled pot and I love it and I made the sauce in it this morning so you'll see that in the video it weighs a ton I, I just adore it what else I love this glass it's so big uh, t-shirts available slideshow so take t-shirts here's the t-shirt once again t-shirt front and back and here is the tank tops i love these love them oh cindy i hope you got your t-shirt raymond i hope yours came i know Rhonda's is there by now she was the first one to buy look at that isn't that fun tank tops are really cool and I believe the t-shirts uh, I'm not sure on the tank tops but the t-shirts go from extra small to 5x so everybody anyone there's a size for anyone so if you haven't gotten yours yet please grab one and support me and my channel if you love it um, my father was in a um, hot rod uh, online forum uh, recently, and he, um, with his 50 chopped Ford, uh, a friend of his from uh, a t another town, town over, submitted it. And he, that guy who submitted it is um, like the hot rod historian um, of New Jersey. Of, the East Coast really um, I'm not even sure how far his expertise goes but he is the collector and a master of all the information on the hot rod community from the 50s on and um, um, he put this article in that forum I think it's uh, it's custom Rama but there is such a beautiful picture of my father with his Ford in the article and I'm going to put a picture of that right here and after that I took it to my dad and uh, I printed it out and uh, so he could read it and uh, you know just give him a little boost because he's really um, bored and depressed and so uh, I gave him that article boost his spirits a little bit and I asked him if he would be willing to do a video interview about some of his cars and his car days because he was a very well-known car customizer and he owned a body shop for 60 years 60 years 60 yep 60 years so you know cars were always a part of our lives growing up and there's that thing that I always say about the body shop when you walk into a auto body shop that smell that you smell it just takes me right back to my childhood it just smells the paint and the, the metal and I, it just I it's a little different now because all cars are plastic now but back when I was a kid it was like grinding of metal there were cars that were like uh, the lead sleds were still around and all cars were made out of metal and they did a lot of uh, sheet metal work and uh, sanding and, and the putty the smell all those smells are like Christmas like a Christmas you know how people think of Christmas morning and the smell of the tree whenever I smell the body shop um, smells like that just takes me right back so really cool I guess that's why I, I love hot rods today 
so anyway, that would be really fun if he would um, do a video interview. We'll have to do it on a day where he's, uh, you know, feeling good and feeling chatty. <laughs> and um, maybe I'll get my nephew to come in on it with us and just make a day out of it, you know, make a whole thing out of it for him. Be very fun. So anyway, guys, I think that's about it. More snow tomorrow. It's supposed to be a bigger one. Sunday into Monday. Nothing worse than waking up to snow on a Monday morning. Oh, it's bad enough Monday morning, right? So anyway, I think that's it. I don't think I forgot anything. Uh, like I said, I got a lot of fun stuff on the way. And later on, I will show you how to make that polpettone con ricotta. The beautiful Italian meatloaf. It is so delicious. I will make a little tomato, um, fresh tomato sauce to go on top of it. Really, really good. So anyway, that's it for me, guys. I hope you're having a magical, mystical, musical Saturday. Talk to you very, very soon. I love you all. Grab your t-shirts. See you soon. Comment, subscribe, spread the love.